right, let's get Elise on here. Should she tell her best friend that her husband hit on her before they came, before they became best friends? And this yeah. is not the first time we've talked to her. No. So you missed out on this yesterday, Bert. So we're going to huh. bring you up to speed. So we talked to Elise at, at, out the gate. She wanted to confide into her best friend, who she had gotten very close to over the past year, that her husband had hit on her prior to them becoming friends. If you remember, a man she works with was hitting on her, was flirting with her, wanted to take her out, was not wearing a wedding ring. People in the office told, told ended up telling her he is married, okay? Nothing ever happened between the two of them, but he was crossing the line as far as, like, hitting on her and stuff. She's at a company party, sitting at a table with a woman. They hit it off. Lo and behold, it's his wife. So they end up forming a friendship, one that she didn't anticipate, and it just actually became pretty pretty strong. So now the two of them, she's using the word besties, they're best friends. Well, well, Bert, she told her. Like, she's, she couldn't handle this um, on her conscience anymore, and she came clean to her best friend and said, FYI, before you and I became friends, your husband hit on me at the office. And she took it really, really well. Like, she appreciated, like, she didn't get mad at her. She didn't flip the script. She appreciated what she had to say. Um, Cassie pointed out she knew. Like, she knows her husband's up to something because he hadn't been wearing his wedding ring. And he had made some BS excuse about that. So I think it just kind of solidified in her mind what had been going on. But the two of them, like, she had no plans on ending the friendship. Like, it was, it was a productive conversation. But when we talked to Elise yesterday, she hadn't gone into work yet where she was going to see said husband. So she didn't know what her friend was going to say or confront the husband. And so now we have to check back in with her to see if there was any fallout at work from the husband. If the best friend confronted him and said, hey, by the way, Elise told me you tried hitting on her. And so I know you're a no good scoundrel. (laughs) Super layered. Hey, Elise. (laughs) Hey, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so what happened at the office? <laughs> well, so there actually was like, I was I was so nervous all day, and it ended up not being any drama at all, because he didn't even show up yesterday. He didn't. He was a no-show. No, it, exactly. He didn't come in, so all day I'm like, um, okay, like, like I said, as the day goes on, I'm starting to get worried. So I just like, I like reached out to my best friend, because I'm like, um everything's okay, what's going on, you know, I just, you know, make, you know trying to make sure she wasn't going to end up on an episode of crime TV or something, like, is everything <laughs> right? <laughs> we laugh, but that's a valid like, concern. I <laughs> know, So, but she was like, oh, she's like, everything's okay, she's like, we had a really late night, we were up, like, talking and discussing everything, and we didn't get much sleep. So I was like, oh, okay, so, like, what were you guys talking about? So she just said, you know, he was really upset that I told him that and of course denying everything and saying that oh, I I must have misinterpreted what was going on like he had no intention of being all you know it wasn't all flirty he was just being nice and trying to welcome me into the mm. office and everything and it's like but come on everybody else in the office saw it too so whatever I'm just like okay so but I mean so she was like she doesn't know what what they're gonna do like if they're gonna go get counseling or you know they're still trying to work through everything but I'm like so but how is he gonna be towards me like he can't not come to work every day like so what are we doing from here and she's like I don't know he's really upset but I told him he better not you know be rude to you he better just ignore you and you know and move on just don't talk to you don't say anything to you so I don't know. I mean, it's because it's like, what do I do? If he comes, if he gets in my face, do I like, do I go to HR and say something? Do I just ignore him? Do I move on? Like, this is just going to be constant drama at work now. Like, it's, it's just it's ridiculous. Um, Did he ever say anything to her in their late night conversation that he no longer wants her to be friends with you? He didn't. Like, she didn't tell me anything like that. So okay. I don't know. But she, you know, she basically is like, she's telling me, like, we're still friends. Like, nothing is happening to our friendship. I told him he better leave you alone. You know, you're my best friend and, and that's it. So it doesn't seem like she's trying to give up on our friendship. But who knows if she might have to to save her marriage. Like, I don't I don't know. 
Are you guys on uh, an equal playing field when it comes to work? In other words, are you his supervisor or vice versa? He is. Well, he's a supervisor, but I am too. So it's like we kind of don't really, you know, it's like it's like a team environment. So we have to interact sometimes, but for the most part, we can we can stay away from each other. All right, okay. that's a plus. Yeah, there's going to be tension yeah. there at work, man, for sure. Well, yeah, at least your conscience is clean now. Mm-hmm. You did the right thing, but there's going to be some tension there, yeah. for sure. And at least keep your side of the street clean. If he does try to, like, broach this at work, that's unprofessional, and be like, if you want to talk about this, we, we're not doing it on company time. Yeah, that's true. But you think I should talk to him about no. it? No. No. No, I'm saying if he comes to you, if he tries to start the conversation with you, you just put your foot down and be like, we're not doing this at work. That's unprofessional. 100%. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Elise. Yeah, I'm going to try to avoid him. <laughs> yeah, I would. All right. Follow up with this, okay? All right. Thank you. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched, you can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.